last book by Marti Bernau, if I'm pronouncing this correctly, about the impact that Erling had on the dressing room when he first arrived there two years ago, that it changed the dressing room atmosphere a little bit. Can you uh, tell uh, how is his social role in the group right now, two years later? A little bit higher. Hmm? A little bit higher. So he knows the environment, the players, how we live. But it's normal. It's a process that in, if I stay longer, will be one of the captains of the team. That is normal, normal role. But the impact, I said many times, since his arrival was really, really good. So it's always happy and positive and is an incredible, incredible on the pitch. It's not necessary to talk about off the pitch, you know, it was a surprise for all of us. He was the captain during the US tour, of course, a lot of the senior members of the squad was away then, but uh, do you see him as a leader for, for this team? Uh, yeah, he has to, absolutely. When you play all the games and you are so active on the pitch, there are leaders that maybe don't talk much and they are leaders, so behaving on the pitch and, and when there's a big, big problem, intervene, you know? Sometimes you don't need the armband to be a leader or to be, you know? And yeah, step by step, it's going to happen. It's already the third season together. If we stay longer, at the end, we'll be on this, one of the seniors, persons, people, players in the team. So it's normal, naturally, it's going to happen. And also, we uh, you, we don't always see what happens in the scenes. But can you explain a little bit how we see when in the relationship with the other players, with the younger players? How does it's it really take care of them? It's really good. Yeah. Every band have good moments, but bomb is really good. It's always positive. It's always happy, and so. So I'm not in, in the dressing room with the players. I see them sometimes in the canteen, sometimes on the pitch. But, you know, the, the relation between them is extraordinary. So from, I said, last season, this season, the group of players is unbelievable. So it's one of our strengths, the respect, how push they, how good they train, how compete. You know, they are friends, most of them. So that is, that is really good. Thank you. Uh, Pep, many of your rivals have spent quite a lot of money this summer trying to improve the squads. You, you spelled, spent relatively little, maybe just Ilkay coming in, but do, do you feel that that's because you've, you've got what you want, really? It's hard to get better, and you've got what you want to, to do what you want to do this season to win, to win more trophies? No, no, no. Sometimes, sometimes it's, there are situations for each, for... Uh, Many years you have to be more active in the transfer market. Some years it's not necessary. We believe. I give my opinion to the club. The club make their opinion as well, and all together we take a decision. Then sometimes maybe in the future you have to invest more. But now is where it is. I'm still confident with the team that we have, and uh, and that's why we decide to do what we have done. Um, Rodri back training with the group this week. Is he ready, do you think, for tomorrow or will you wait until after the international break? I think he's going to travel, but I don't know if he's going to be ready. I don't know. And um, once you return from the international break, it's midweek fixtures pretty much every week. Um, how has this time been? Have you been able to sort of get things across on the training pitch that you won't have time for later in the yeah, season? Yeah, we train... I would say more and higher in many aspects because we have more time, more days. When it happened, you know, Brentford, Champions League, Arsenal, Carabao Cup, and, and all the features that we have will be a sad recovery. So we try to remember concepts this, this time of, of weeks and, and yeah, hopefully they can be healthy. Only I'm concerned about be fit, be a player, you know, tired, but be fit. It's only I'm concerned this season. The rest, we'll do it again. I don't think you've maybe got a bigger squad than last season, but do you feel like you've still got a big enough squad for these yeah. extra games and competitions? Well, at the end, leave uh, Julian, uh, leave uh, Sergio, and get Bagundo and, and Savinho. So, plus we have uh, Nico, we have Maka. So, yeah, it's fine, it really. I'm really pleased with the squad. I know apparently if you don't sign 10 players, uh, we didn't do anything, we'll be weaker. I don't have that feeling. I don't have it. If the opponents feel it, that's fine. But I don't have that feeling. Um, Luke, Lucas Paqueta, has he been a player that maybe you've discussed here as a potential signing before? I never said that. <laughs> uh, 
Is, is he though? Was he? Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Um, before the before the FA charge, was he one that you would? Well, I saw in the newspapers potential we can handle 100 players every season. So that is the truth. That of course he's an interesting player, but always with West Ham players, and uh, and hopefully can get out of this situation for the benefit of him. He obviously one of their key players to. That can control a game. Absolutely, one of their he's an tomorrow. exceptional player. He can play in different roles, but not just him. Kudus, last season, the last game of the season, the problems they create. Uh, Bowen, Antonio is a guarantee, and, and bought, they bought out of players physically in the middle. When you see the squad and the four players up front plus Summer Bill for the player, they bring two. They brought two, so pff, it's, a, it's quite impressive the squad that they have was Ham and the, the potential that they have. Hi Pep, you mentioned that Ilkay only needs a minute to get back up to speed with things. Is part of the thinking about signing him because of the schedule that is so busy, they're trying to integrate a player that's not used to your systems and practices that it's quite difficult to get them going when there's so little time on the training it, ground? It was, it's not in our, it was not in our plans. So we didn't think that Ilkay could leave Barcelona, so that is the truth. I never, never thought about that. It happened in one day and in three days, four days we did it. We know that player and and we spoke, I think, the last press conference that 90% of the question was before each which sound was uh, Ilkay. So we knew that it would be immediately that he knows perfectly the roles. But the good players don't need, you know, the good players don't need much time to, you know, to adapt. And and in the situation that we have, and because I like this type of players a lot, so okay. So if we can, financial issue in Barcelona and Man City can happen, so let's go, let's do it. But would have you looked for someone else if you didn't get Ilkay no. in? I don't think so. Because of the schedule or just because of not needing anyone else? But I, I don't know. I know the schedule is tight, but at the same time, I'm sad, you know. I live in experience in, 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 in the past, when I think it was in Barcelona, they have, maybe I was not the manager, but I was there, with four, five, six ACLs, a lot of injuries, maybe 14, 50 players available, plus academy, so few, few. They won the Liga, the, won the championship, and... They play unbelievable. But that happen, everyone is so focused, everyone, you know, when you have 23 or 24 players, they just play 16, you don't have 23, 24 players, you have 16. And sometimes, you know, I prefer to have players I trust a lot, I have players that maybe are there to numbers, but you don't rely a lot or maybe don't get minutes. When this happen, I don't like it. It's so difficult for them, you know, don't play minutes, don't let them play, it's so difficult have a good contract and good place, but they want to play. They are professionals. They want to do the job, and you want to do it. And I have a player that can play in three or four different positions, like everybody knows, and, you know, and I like to, you know, because they are intelligent, and, yeah, and it's fine. If it doesn't work and have a lot of problems, then, okay, we have a window, we have the transfer, and maybe we can go there, and, and in nothing, nothing, the season will be over because the, the season fly every season more and more, so that's why. So I, I know the feeling that people say, no, oh, it's weaker and I have to sign, otherwise that is the reason why. I don't have the feeling. I love it, I like it, and I like what the club has done for, for me as a manager from the transfer window. Do you actually think that the squad is stronger than last season, given the start that we'll Sabino's made? And we will see. I, I'm really pleased with with uh, Gundo and Savinho are here, with Makati is back, and, and Nico make a step up. Uh, um, I, I I like it, but if stronger, it will depend on our performance. So far, I'm happy. I didn't expect to play the level we played so far, and the conditions that we start later than anyone else with uh, after winning that always is more difficult. But um, yeah, we we will have lows, but. I'm pretty sure the the players, the mentality they have will will rise and will come back. So at the end of the season, we tell you it was better than the previous season. So I don't know. Non um, Foden, see the club said he was unwell last week. It's, it's been seven days. Who? Foden. Yeah. It's been seven days since. Uh, are you expecting it to be a a, a lengthy no, absence? No, hopefully so, no. Hopefully after international break we'll be ready. Because obviously, been I don't know how long he missed when he had appendicitis, eighteen months play, ago. Play, no, playing against Chelsea, uh, forty-five minutes, and after he didn't feel good, and uh, 
we make tests, he feels good and much better, but still he doesn't feel perfect. I prefer we give, you know, that time to recover, be fine, and after we come back international break, be ready for the, for the next games. Pep, just to go back to Erling a, a second, um, how do you see his personality, how it's changed on the pitch? Because when he first came here, he was, you know, he was a force of nature, and you could see how desperate he was to be successful. He scored all the goals, beat the record, blah, blah, blah. And there were people saying also that he could only play in one position, that he couldn't integrate. But the impression one gets now is that a lot has changed in, in his head and his perception of how to play football, not just scoring goals. Yeah, it's going to happen naturally, gradually, as much play. He can do it. We have, I think, the abilities to to do it. His ability, you know, is his strength and the potential and power to direct it to the goal in the goal machine. That please don't change. Never ever that. You know, not to add something you can lose that. That is not not the the point. But of course, it's involved because we talk about what the situation happened in the game. We can do better. But the most important thing is that the feeling that this season is feels. You know, when he arrived, came from Dortmund, had a lot of problems with the injuries, and we struggled for, you know, last season, I think he struggled a little bit, the success in the past, and, you know, and this season I had the feeling that he's better than in terms, I don't know, I wouldn't say ever, because score, I don't know, 50, 60 goals every season, so be better is almost so difficult, but, you know, finish the training session, stay in the pitch a little bit more for the finishing crosses, and, and it's... I spoke with uh, you know his physios and the other one. You know, feels perfect. Don't have any niggles. When in the first season had a lot, so he's always smiling. So yeah, so of course it's one game a week. The tiredness will come. The winter come, and you know, and now is go to to Kazakhstan to play the national leagues with Norway. It's ten hours fly, ten hours come back, and you know the kind of stuff is is always accumulate, and that's why you have to be careful. But so far. You know, when the end part of the tour in the state, states to come back to be focused and training, and yeah, it's, it's really good. Yeah, it just seems in a better place. To me. Sorry? It just seems in a better place. I mean, it's yeah. a pretty good place. I don't really yeah. know. This is like another place entirely. And in the club? Yeah, in his head. In, in oh, yeah. How he feels. He's, he's yeah, yeah. Standing yeah I had that feeling, yeah. Yeah. We talk about that. So, yeah, focus these years as a professional, focus completely in, a, in the game and everything. It's so demanding, you know. He knows it, so with every three days, every season is one more year in your body, you know. But uh, yeah, as much as happy and enjoying the trainings, enjoy scoring goals, and have the mentality to be better and better, always never disappear. That never disappear. When you are okay, I've done it. It doesn't matter. And after that, he'll decrease his performance. But still, this season I see it still is there. I have a, I'm not saying performing well or good because. Perform well always, I believe, depend for many factors, not just myself, for the mates, for the opponents, for many things, you know. And this play, that, they play, play good. Why? Tell me a reason why I play good. There are many, many, you know, factors that, that involve and play good and bad. I'm not saying about that. I'm saying that be ready, you know, be still, I want to score more goals and I want to win another Premier League or I want to, again, be in the final stages, Champions League or FA Cups or whatever and be a better player. So, and... What well, you have done so far, maybe because you have a long weeks, yeah? So be careful because you have a long weeks this month. So have time to recover to home and do it that. And after that one, it's three, four days, three, four days, three, four days. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Thank you, guys. Thank you.